Welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Uh, myself, Theodor. Masha. Today we are going to debate about a really common question, and that is which binoculars are made in Germany. Yeah. But uh, since majority of people asking this question are basically asking, is this product made in Germany? Yeah. We still decided to do a little bit broader topic. So, Masha, we know four business models which are common in this industry. Can we go through them a little bit? Yeah, so we have the first one, the brand that does everything in-house, mm -hmm. so in the same uh, country. Then we have the second one that is, uh, the brand is located in uh, one country and outsources the whole production to, uh, to, other, countries, to yeah. other countries. The third one is that is um, located in one country and outsources some of their production in other countries. And then we have uh, the last one, uh, OEM uh, producers mm -hmm. that uh, produce optics for other brands. Okay, so now I think the best way will be for our viewers to get the most valuable information that we go from brand to brand, uh, from German brands normally, and we categorize them in which business model they're operating in. Yeah, yeah. So what would be the best pick for, for the start? Maybe the first, the most... Uh, big one in Germany. Mm, that would be probably Carl Zeiss. Yeah? yeah. So the Carl Zeiss has a business model which is partially in-house, partially outsourced. Yeah. Uh, they do majority of their products in uh, Wetzlar in Germany. Uh, so all Victory series, Victory HT, Victory SF, is completely fully made in-house in Germany. Then the Conquest, Conquest HD yeah. is also made in Germany. And then they have the Terra line, which is actually made in, in China. China. Yeah. yeah. And they also have the compact, uh, the, not the compact, the pocket models. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are slowly phasing them out. But those models were made in Hungary. Oh. So Victory, Conquest HD in-house in Germany, Terra in China and Japan. Terra is, uh, I think the compact models are made in Japan. Yeah, in Japan, yeah. yeah. Uh, while the full-sized 42 millimeter yeah. models are made in China. And the pocket uh, series, they are made in, in Hungary. So basically the more affordable models are made in Asia. Yeah. And, uh, while the more expensive yeah, premium right. models are made in-house in Germany. Yeah. Okay, now let's continue with Leica. Yeah, so Leica does everything in Europe. Mm -hmm. They are located in Germany, uh, but they some of their production is happening in Portugal. Yeah. Uh, like we have their uh, their laser range finding models are made in Portugal. Range masters and geovits, yeah, yeah. They're made in Portugal, yeah. Uh, Trinovits, I think, also in yeah, Portugal. This one, yeah. It's yeah. Made in Portugal, yeah. And they're more more um, premium, uh, or I would say more expensive models are made in Germany, like Ultravits, yeah. Noctivits, Duovit, Duovit, yeah. Yeah. And all of their rifle scope production and so yeah. on. Uh, their pocket models are also made in Portugal. Oh, okay. So we could say if, if you're asking directly which binoculars are made in Germany, uh, Leica has a partial business model. Yeah. The premium, more expensive models are made fully in Germany, while the more affordable models and all range finding models are made in Portugal, even though they're both in house because they control both yeah, the factories. Yeah. 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 Okay, where should we continue? Which would Maybe be nice Maybe Steiner. Steiner, yeah. Okay, Steiner also, uh, all of their premium models or everything what is above 500 or maybe even lower, above 350 euros, everything is made in Germany, mm -hmm. in Bayreuth, in, in Bavaria. Uh, while those more affordable models are, made, are outsourced probably somewhere from Asia, they yeah. don't disclose this information that much, but honestly speaking, it's impossible to produce a binocular for 200 euros in Europe. Yeah. So they probably outsource at least parts of them. While all Poro Prism binoculars and all 500 plus binoculars, also the roof prisms, are made in in-house in Germany uh, in their facilities in Beirut. Uh, so, Beirut. so even more affordable Poro Prism uh, yeah. binoculars. With Poro Prism binoculars are also the models which are 200 euros are made in Germany. That's mm -hmm. really, really, and not only in Germany, in their factory mm -hmm. in Bayreuth. Uh, so they are one of the biggest, or I think the, in, in terms of numbers, they are the biggest producer of binoculars in, in, in Germany. Okay, so we can continue with, let's say, Minox. Yeah, Minox has the same as Steiner, so more mm -hmm. expensive models are made in Germany. 
and uh, more affordable models made in Asia. I think China mostly. Mm -hmm. um, like c this one, uh, which is XHD series, is uh, made in Germany. And other, uh, I think, X Active and X Lite Light. Yeah. are made in China. And also, I think, the new... Uh, Razer Lynch Panning model. Yeah. yeah. I'm also sure that it's also made in, uh, in China. Yeah. So, so again, partial yeah, business model. Same. More expensive products are made in-house in Germany, yeah. others are outsourced. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, what are the brands that are fully co uh, manufacturing Based in uh, Germany? There are only a few. Blazer, which is really mm -hmm. funny because they don't have a long tradition in optics no, and so on. they're but quite new, yeah. Yeah, but they started and they do everything uh, in, in Germany, at least they claim so. Uh, and Optolit, really an old producer, they are not uh, massive in numbers and it's almost mm -hmm. hard to find their products, uh, but they're also producing everything in Germany. They're the only two companies that do not outsource at least some series or more affordable series outside of Germany. Mm -hmm. um, we should mention also Noblex. Yeah, Noblex is currently going out of business, I think, but mm -hmm. uh, in the past way, when they were a doctor, yeah. uh, they produced, I think, everything in everything Germany. Everything in Germany, yeah. And then when Noblex, uh, the certain models were outsourced to yeah. Asia. When Noblex took over of, uh, of the doctor, they began to offer more affordable yeah, series, yeah. which were produced in China, uh, and they were cutting down the production in yeah. Germany. And we also are able to name quite a few companies that have only outsourced model for uh, well, outsourcing model, business model for their products. And this is GPO. Yeah, yeah. For, for instance, they are based in, in Germany, but they don't produce their products. They outsource them to Japan and China. Uh, and then we have a whole range of like yeah. Bauer, DD Optics. Most so uh, popular uh, brands. Yeah, they're all based in Germany, but they don't yeah. produce anything. They just uh, do the marketing and and all the distribution from Germany, mm -hmm. but the production facilities are all in, in, in uh, China or Asia, uh, yeah. Asia in general. And last but not least, mm, some businesses in this industry also um, function under the business model of OEM, yeah. Regional Equipment Manufacturing, yeah? Yeah. But not in Germany. No. So in Germany there is no, at least to our knowledge, no company that would produce binoculars and would not have their own brand yeah. to produce them just for other brands. Like in, in China, this is really common. This is really, yeah. You, you produce binoculars, but all of your binoculars are then sold out there. Yeah different brands um i think we went through yeah i think that's it if you yeah. found this video useful give us a like and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye